Hi, I'm Paul Connolly from Essex Training. Today we're going to do some core stability training. Right, today we're going to talk about the importance of core stability and flexibility training. I'm 46, Tobias is 26. Now if Tobias wants to still be doing loads of hours as a trainer and staying strong and healthy and at 46, it's really important that now he's, he's doing his core stability functional training. This, this is not just for trainers, this can help the average person in the street just with their day-to-day -day lifestyle. It's really important because it's all about balance, core stability, flexibility and functional training. Right, twice now, we're going to do some exercises. Okay, mounting the ball. Easiest way to mount the ball is just to basically put both knees in line where you want them to be, which is roughly about four or five inches apart. Hands and knees on the ball. And what you do is you push forward so you've got four points on the ball. Two hands, two knees. And the idea is just to find the centre of the ball. Once you've found the centre of the ball and you hold the middle, your back, you want to come straight up and hold the middle. Adductors are going straight away, that core is working. Okay, so it's all about finding the middle. The more you find the middle, head up, the less movement you'll have in the ball. Okay, Tobias is now going to bounce the medicine ball off the floor while he's still kneeling on the fit ball. The reason for doing this is because it makes the core work even harder because what you're doing is having to balance all the time. Also, every time he throws the ball down, the abdominals are having to contract. So there's a lot of work going on here. So nice and steady to start off with Tobias. Right, as you know Tobias, the beauty of core training is once you're kneeling on that ball, those core muscles are activating straight away. They're funk, they're doom, doom, doom. Those balancing muscles are all contracting. Those transverse abdominal muscles are all contracting just to keep you on that ball. Okay, now all we've got to do is incorporate some upper body work with it, and we're working most of the body. So, what I'd like to do tonight is just to make it a little more interesting. Be interesting, catch the ball. <laughs> And take it to different angles, mate, just to make it harder for you. Now, this is making the core work even harder. Look at them wobbles, fellas. He's got a good core, this man. He's got a good core. He's staying on that ball. He's staying on that ball. Excellent balance. It's all about balance. These muscles are not used day to day. In our day to day life, we do not use balancing muscles, so they have to be activated. They have to be activated. And the beauty of the core training. Is they've shown that with good core stability, athletes, cheers, Tobias, I'll chuck that now. They've shown with good core stability, athletes have improved their sports performance up to 20 or 30 percent, and injuries are reduced to a similar amount. So it's really beneficial. It's really open to shoulders up. At the same time, having the balance of the ball so my core is having to work. My adductors especially, my inner thigh, my glutes, my lower back, everything's working. Even my chest, my arms, there's not much that's not working. Basically the only thing I can think of that's not working at this moment in time are my calves and my feet. Everything else seems to be working, especially that core. That's enough of that. It's really important to stretch at the end of any workout. Basic, well really, the, the main reason is to, to dispel waste products. When you exercise, we, we build up lactic acid, carbon dioxide, and stretching helps flush that, that the waste products out. Also, it's really important to, to, to increase your range, or to, even, to maintain or increase your range of motion. Stretching is the best way to do it.